for one Denmark, y'all. Wow, Portland. This is a black comedy festival. There is a lot of white faces here. Wow. Black people, anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law when there's this amount of white people here, okay? So be safe. Watch what you say. I know I don't look like Juan Denmark. I look more like if Frederick Douglass dated white women. I get it. I get it. Here's the thing. I don't date white women anymore. Publicly. Publicly. I don't... Don't date white women publicly, okay? <laughs> I was in my psychology class today, and um, I saw that single black mothers outnumber all of the other single mothers in this country. So can we make some noise for single black mothers, please? Yeah, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for a single black mother. I think in honor of single black mothers, they should all be issued a firearm, okay? And if you're out there, I'll teach you exactly how to shoot a firearm, all right? Oh, yes. You put both of your feet shoulder width apart. You put your dominant foot behind as if you're getting into a good fighter stance. Make sure you put both your hands on the weapon, okay? Now, the desired time to shoot is either at the top of an inhale or at the bottom of an exhale. But for the love of God, please hit the officer in the forehead, please. Okay? Bullets aren't cheap and neither is body armor. I don't want you guys wasting bullets. We're approaching a recession. I think we should treat cops exactly like how Asian store owners treat black people. There's not many black people here, so I'll explain it for you guys, okay? I was really expecting to talk to black people today, but that's okay. I'll make do with what we see, all right? When you go into a store and you look like me, and there's an Asian store owner, you get a whole bunch of unnecessary supervised attention. I see you nodding your head, you agree with me. Heck yeah, let's, let's fist bump over unnecessary supervised attention. I think every single cop should be issued a Karen or an Asian store owner, all right? <laughs> Speaking of protection, one thing my dad did teach me is about condoms, okay? Condoms are a very important part of protection. If you don't have a gun, have a condom. Those are my two rules. If I got a dollar for every time a partner of mine told me about an STD they had after we had sex, I'd have six dollars, okay? <laughs> now that wouldn't get me much, but two box of condoms and a bus fare to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm single. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that. Speaking of STDs, I served in the military. <laughs> I like that, you guys laugh at shit I wasn't expecting you guys to laugh at. This is awesome, we're having a good time tonight. I served in the military. Do we have any veterans in the house? Perfect. That, oh, we do? You? Oh my goodness, let's do another fist bump. Yo, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll explain what it's like to be a veteran in Portland, okay? It's like having a sexually transmitted disease, people. Because you don't tell your partner until after you have sex with them. That's how... It gives a new meaning to don't ask, don't tell when you really think about it. <laughs> Yeah, I was single. I got married at 19. Did anyone make a dumb decision like I did? No one got married? Okay, thank you. I got a veteran here. Everyone in, in Portland's polyamorous. All right, so you guys don't believe in marriage. Here's the thing. The reason I'm single is because Valentine's Day completely ruined Black History Month, all right? Thank you. Because not only do you lose one day, you lose three days if you're a good boyfriend preparing for Valentine's Day. So that's four days out of the shortest month that I can't celebrate being black, all right? That's terrible. And then the week after Valentine's Day, guess what it is, people? Do you guys know what happens the week after Valentine's Day? President's Day. Is somebody playing a joke on us? I don't know about black people and presidents, but they probably shouldn't be at the same fiesta. <laughs> Speaking of fiesta, Kanye West, right? 
what a fiesta in a human being. Can we all agree? I've been thinking a lot about Kanye West, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys tonight, okay? He was absolutely right. George Bush doesn't care about black people. You guys have a great night. <laughs> Well, Denmark, y'all. <laughs>